What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Factorio, this is episode number 22 and although episode number 21 only came out the day before yesterday, uh, it's been months since I've played Factorio. That's right, I said it, months. I haven't played Factorio in a long, long time, so this is going to be very interesting. Um, however, I did have a single player, well a multiplayer world with, with a couple of my friends that I was doing uh, a, a, a little while back, so... Um, it is kind of still fresh in my mind, uh, but but I, I do also remember where we are because of editing the, the videos. You know, I kind of decided, let, let's get this Factorio thing. Let, let's finish this. Let's get it. Let's get it done. Let's get her done because we want to we definitely want to actually complete the game. So um, so hopefully we're going to be able to do that. And so where are we right now? We've already got the blue science. That's what we finished last episode. We got the gray science, which is what we finished a couple episodes back. And we've got the red and green science. So what we want to do now is probably connect all these up and put them in a sort of uh, a sort of uh, factory, a sort of um, a sort of lab that we can use. So let's let's create a little lab area. Do we have automation for labs? That is the main question. I don't think we ever set that up. And if we didn't, we probably should. So let's go ahead and probably, that, yeah, that's the next thing we've got to do. Uh, so let's go see what it requires. We go to labs. I don't think it requires much, probably. Uh, 10 iron gear wheels, 10 electronic circuits, and 4 transport belts. That's not that bad. How much, what is a transport belt? It's only a, uh, one of these and one of those, right? Okay, so then labs. Take one more look at it. Labs, electronic circuits, gear wheels, and transport belts. And transport belts require gear wheels and uh, and 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 just normal thing. So we can actually stick that right here, can't we? So we can put one right here. This is this right here. We we, can, we don't need to separate a space there. This is going to make the the uh, the the thing the the track. And then this is going to make the actual lab itself. So lab right here, and track right here for this one. So track there and lab there. Awesome. We're going to need a long-handed inserter for this. And we're also going to need a short-handed inserter as well. Uh, maybe a fast one. I don't know. We probably don't need the fast one. But we're going to go with it anyway. Uh, and then this right here. How many do you need? You only need four transport belts. So I think we're going to go with a slow-handed inserter there. Um, whereas you do need ten electronic circuits and ten gear wheels. So we're going to go with a fast right here and a, and a uh, long right there to get the gear wheels. All right, let's hook this up and see if it works. So hook that part up right there and let's give it a little bit of power as well. So here's the power and I, I guess it's working. We just don't have the, uh, the boxes. So where are, do we have boxes in here? Yes, we do actually. So boxes right there, put a nice little, little thing in one of these. Is there a button to get rid of what you're holding? Like, I mean, I know you can press it again, but like, is there a button to uh, not hold anything? I don't know. Okay, so that's gonna be fine. We only want to be holding. I think it stacks up to either five or ten. Let's let's uh, let's so let's go. So if it stacks up to five, then we want ten. We probably want to hold about twenty of these things so that we can immediately kind of like place them up or forty. Yeah, forty would be fine as well. So let's grab six of these and we're gonna kind of lay out a little blueprint for ourselves for for our factory. So. We want our factory to have a couple of characteristics. You know, it's got to have the ability to have uh, at least four things. Red science, green science, uh, gray science, and blue science. But then it's also got to be able to have uh, the other three science types. And I believe there's three more if we look all the way at the bottom. Uh, yeah, we've got one, two, three, four. So those are the ones we have. Then we have five, six. So there's only two more then. Wow, okay. I thought there were more than that. But I guess... Uh, didn't they used to have purple science packs? Is that gone? Oh, no, they do have purple. Purple is a thing. So there are three more after this. So we need to be able to have, uh, to hold eight, no, seven science packs is what I believe. So let's grab our little factories here. And we're going to do something like this. We got to keep in mind this space right here. But we're going to, uh, we're going to do this. We're going to start up here because this is where, where our room is. So let's go one right here. And then we're going to have two belts. Belt here and a belt here. And in fact, let's give ourselves a little bit more space than just that. So let's uh, let's give ourselves this much space. So two belts right there, and then we're going to have the the uh, the factories or the the labs right about here. So lab there. Then we're going to have a space one two, and we're going to have more labs. So another another set of labs. So we'll get our labs. Should I, our, should I like hop bar our labs? Maybe I should. Uh, yeah, this doesn't need to be hot barred. So let's go ahead and hop bar our labs for the time being and right there so that's going to be yeah and then we'll need two more of these so one or we'll, we'll go the other way but yeah one two just like that and that's going to be our factory setup and essentially it's just going to be a long straight line of factory and i think it's going to work out pretty fine uh so we're going to have one right here uh let's go 
just place all these ones over here and we're gonna go and grab some more of these things as well i don't know how many we're gonna want but uh probably probably quite a few let's see if we use one every well, for the for the later ones it's one every 30 seconds is uh is how it works and we're creating two every second so if we use one every 30 second, we're creating two every second, then we can have 60 theoretically. And that would uh, and that would be totally fine. S should we have 60? I don't know. That, that feels like a bit much. Maybe 30. Well, there's 25. So maybe 60 then. <laughs> that would be 30 on each side. Let's try it. Why not? Let's see how it goes to have 60. Uh, so we're just going to start placing and not stop placing for a while. And we've already got six. So we, we should only have one more in our inventory by the time this is done. So we're going to go this way first, get a little bit close to the edge here, and then we're going to start going this way. Just so we get all of our things placed. And it looks like we might need the help of Granada, but we have plenty of these things, so that's good. Granada! You guys know why I call it Granada? Have you guys ever played Call of Duty? That's what they call it, like the enemies. Whenever you have a grenade, they're like, Granada! So it just kind of stuck with me from my Call of Duty days, which were a long time ago, before I did YouTube even. Um, yeah, that was a while ago. All right. Is this it? And there we go. That should be 30 if my math is correct. Let's see. That's only 29. I guess I did my math wrong somewhere. Oh, because we placed one right here. So it was only five there, not six. Okay, that makes sense. So there's 30 right there. And we're going to, uh, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we need another 29 of these things and we'll have a total of 60 labs. Fastest research ever. Will it be able to sustain it? Maybe. We'll see if it's at full production, maybe. <laughs> In fact, it looks like we need to go ahead and get more green circuits up and running, but, uh, but we'll take a look at that after we finish this. Grab a couple more. It looks like we only grabbed 16, so we'll just, yeah, we'll, we'll get as many done as we can, and then we'll actually get hooked up so that we can start going. Looks like we've researched flights. Let's start something else. Flight. After flight, we're trying to get robots here, so we want construction robotics, definitely. That's a that's a huge thing. So let's go ahead and not get that, apparently. Oh, yeah, we need this. Robotics. We'll get that. Robotics is fine. A fun, a fun little, little one. All right, let's get this one right here. Construction robots are so helpful. Even though it takes a while to set up the network, once you have it set up, it's it's like a, it's like preparing a whole nother game. It's not Factorio anymore. It's Factor Lazy because you don't have to do anything. <laughs> you just have to basically say, hey, these trees, I don't want them anymore. Boom, they're gone. Well, not instantly, but, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. Okay, let's run something along the outer edge right here. We're gonna do... This. So they're gonna come in. These are gonna be the uh, the ones we have currently. So we're gonna have uh, red and green are gonna come in on this side right here, and we're going to have the other one coming in on this side right here. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna go all the way, all the way up to the uh, to the edge here. Every time I say edge here, I feel like I'm about to say edge Sheeran, but like I, I I don't. Okay, bring this one this way. And this one this way and up there and then let's do it on the other side and you go there you go there you guys meet up hurrah nope not that way this way and the next thing we're gonna have to do of course is the fun job of adding uh, little inserters but it won't be that bad even though it's even though it's a painful process of Factorio adding inserters it won't be that bad and there we go. I think that's going to be good. Next, let's run the middle line. We don't have enough stuff for the middle line. Not even... Well, maybe we do, actually. Wow. I didn't think we had enough, so that's why I was, I'm only running one line. But I, I, I really should be running both. I'm going to do the same thing right here. I should really get around to making some concrete so I can make myself run faster. Should that be what we do in this episode? Make concrete? Other than this? Uh, okay, so that's going to be our setup. For now, it looks a little bit janky, but I think it's going to be fine. Let's get the inserters set up. So we only have 12 of these things, unfortunately. But uh, let's go with two there, two there, two here, two there. And that's the last one we can do, unfortunately. Unless we have more, which we do not. Uh, and then we'll get these ones as well. We'll go with the middle. We're doing speed run mode. Should I, should I try a speed? How, how good do you guys think I'd be at? speed running factorio how long do you think it would take me to speed run factorio i'm guessing you know the speed runners do it in like what two hours right is that there that's the estimated time of a speed runner i would probably be able to do it in 
mm, five, maybe six even, if I'm lucky. <laughs> if I was really trying, I don't know. I don't think I'd even come close to a speed run speed running capable time. Okay, that's okay. You guys are good. Now let's start running these things. So we're gonna run, we'll, we're running out of stuff. So let's go and grab some more real quick. What do we need? Long-handed inserters, short-handed inserters, and uh, things. The, these things right here, the reds. Let's get another science. Inserter capacity, I mean, what do we have next? We can get logistics robots. That's, that's actually pretty awesome. You know why? Because when you get logistics robots, another section of inventory opens up and you can actually place things in that section. Um, while the while the logistics robots are are not working, so they won't actually do anything with it. But it gives you an extra inventory space, which is always very nice. Because as you can see, we like to run out of inventory space quite often. Uh, where is it? Over here. Let's go to the mall. Any of you guys watch uh, How I Met Your Mother? <laughs> Robin Sparkles. All right. We, it looks like this needs this needs fixing right here, these assemblers. So maybe that's what we go and do uh, in a second. But let's really quickly bring you forward. And we're going to run this line right about here. Just like that. Uh, and let's actually see if it reaches first. I, I don't know if it can. Yeah, it's having a little bit of trouble. Um, hmm, okay. You're having trouble. Well, you know, this, this coal is a little bit odd. And I feel like we could, you know what, let's fix this then. If we fix this, it'll cause us less problems uh, in the future. So we don't have to do as spaghetti uh, stuff. So we're gonna go like that, let's go around and side and then down, we're just gonna follow this right here while destroying these ones. Follow, destroy, Dis follow, destroy and place that right there, there we go. And that's gonna cause us some, some Freedom. It's going to give us some freedoms that we would not have otherwise had. So put this right there. And then we can finally, we can just bring that up there. And that should allow us to reach the other side of this with no problem. So you go in and come out and then go in. And you're just going to go under this one right here. There we go. You're, you're backwards for some reason. There we go. Sometimes they like to be backwards, but uh, they're, yeah, they're weird. All right. That's looking pretty good. Now we got to bring it all the way. All the way. All the You guys listen to Jacksepticeye? <laughs> All right. Bring this one over to here and connect it. Now, we do have a contamination here. So, I have half of mine to go like this. Put that over there and quarantine. <laughs> Let it just kind of sit there. Don't even worry about it for the rest of the, uh, the series. All right. Bring this all the way. It's a catchy song. Seriously, look it up if you've never heard it. It's so catchy. Anyone who's heard it will agree that it's 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 a catchy song. It's called All the Way by uh I think it, I think Shmo, Shmo Yoho did it. All right, connect this one and boom. We should have this one, that one, and we should hook up the blues as well, shouldn't we? Well, so all the grays are inputted on one side, right? So we should be able to just go like this with the blues and that should connect them just fine, right? I think so. Grays, yeah, grays will only input onto the uh, the bottom side, the south side of this uh, of this transport belt. So the blue should have no problem just kind of sneaking in right there. And then, yeah, we should be good. We have logistics robots now. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and grab. Uh, I want to grab inserter capacity just because uh, the next level over. Well, I guess no. Maybe we already got that. The one that gives us plus one for everything. Yeah, stack and stir capacity. Uh, well, we should probably grab it anyway because we are going to want to use these. What is this? Oh, we have automatic belt planner. I forgot that we added this. We might use that a little bit later. Uh, we added this for a multiplayer world, the one I was talking about earlier, uh, and we never just we never deleted it. But we might use it uh, later because it's it's kind of a helpful uh, thing. The automatic it, it helps you um, upgrade belts and that sort of thing uh, without having to go through a crazy hassle. Let's go ahead and grab, I want to grab Exoskeleton because the darkness is going to become a, annoying for you guys, especially. Um, so yeah, that would be, that'd be nice to have. Oh, we can actually complete this. So let's go here and we'll just keep going down the line a little bit. Unfortunately, we've run out of spots there, but, but we can do it right here. So one right there, there. Speedrun mode activate. 
I should just do a time lapse to pretend like I'm actually faster than I am. <laughs> you ever thought that like sometimes when people do a speed run, they just like increase the speed by one percent or something, and it looks like they're going. Oh, these are all backwards too. Oh my god. Oh no. Whatever. It's good. It's at least we re we uh, realize it now, and not like later, because that would have been bad. And there we go. We're not even gonna worry about the middle section, this middle section of uh, of stuff right now, because we don't need to. We don't we don't have anything on those lines. Once we get stuff on those lines, we will set up stuff indeed. There we go. You know, if I wanted to be lazy, I could literally just run along this thing with uh, with these because having more inserters is never a bad thing unless it cuts out your ability to put in power but we have the upgraded power poles how beautiful does this look by the way red green and and gray and blue how awesome does that look like that that right there that's a picturesque scene in, in my in my opinion it brings me such joy to see this uh, these these lines of color okay narrow we're gonna run along this whole thing and place these once again, if you hold the button, it'll place them along wherever you can place them. You don't actually have to pay attention to where you're placing. And we'll put one just on the end right here and then one right there. Uh, as well, we're going to run it all the way along just like that. And let's go and grab more science things. We only need a couple more. In fact, I, I, would, I would bet that we only need probably 15 more or uh, even 13. So we're going to grab them because, you know, it, we might as well finish this while we can. So let's do it. How's everything else running, actually? I do want to check this out eventually to see if it's running at maximum capacity or not. So I want to shift click and shift click. We'll grab 20 of them, even though I'm 100% sure we don't need 20. I'm absolutely sure. Uh, but are you guys running at capacity? It looks like so far you guys are running at capacity. But are you creating two per second? Maybe. I don't know. It's tough to tell. But you are, you are certainly running at capacity because all these lines are full. And that's exactly what we want to see. Uh, and if we go and look at these ones, if we click on our map, we can actually zoom in without having to walk there. So let's go and look at uh, this one. Are you running at capacity? Your lines are kind of full. You might not be running at capacity, though. No, definitely not. Uh, this one, though, is running at capacity, which is good. Uh, the reds should be running at capacity. We'll have to see what's the problem here. And actually, I can already see it. It's, it's going to be the uh, steel production. Uh, what about you guys? You are also running at capacity. So yeah, it looks like most of our factories are indeed running at capacity, which is a good thing is definitely a good thing because the number of uh the number of labs that we have here only works really if we're running at capacity otherwise it's going to be at a diminished rate that's just because of the number the sheer number of labs that we set up but um you can actually look at the lines and immediately tell which one's not running at capacity uh if you look at the line and you see a bunch of blue backed up and then you see red and green not backed up, you can usually tell that it's running at capacity, but that only, there's a bit of a caveat to that one. And it's only when, when uh, everything's being used equally, uh, which every research uses everything equally, but, um, but it doesn't, uh, sometimes researches don't require a certain one. So, oops, we, uh, messed up on that last one there. Okay, let's drag a power pole. Man, when I learned about how you can drag this without having to actually uh, click where you wanted to, or where you, like, click accurately, it changed the game for me. It's crazy. Okay, we should be seeing this speed up at a pretty exponential rate here. Uh, unfortunately, some of these things are, are losing... What are they What are they lacking? Greens. So you're lacking greens. Well, let's go check out the greens real quick, and then I want to go and take a look at the... Um, at the the assemblers although i do want to keep these videos a bit shorter than i have uh, had them in the past so we might end the episode right after we check out the uh the greens here yeah you are definitely lacking here and the reason is because of this so we need to we need to do something and i think we're going to do a quick solution for now we're going to do a simple solution we're just going to tack on that right there um, but what we really need to do is we need to go in here and make sure that we um make sure that our iron production is good see this this last belt right here is not producing uh, and that's because we just haven't set that up yet if i remember correctly yeah we just haven't set that one up yet so we do need to go in here and make sure that all that is working well then we also need to check on the train because if that train stops then our production stops put bluntly 
So how are you guys doing? It looks like you guys actually need a little bit more. So we only have one line of this going. Yeah, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna have to add some some stuff. And let's do it right now. This is actually gonna take half a second. So it's not that bad. Uh, we wanna output right here, input right here. Do we do double inputs? No, we don't. And we're gonna input and input. And then finally we're going to input there. Awesome, and where do we stick our things? So it looks like we're sticking one right in the middle and then we're sticking one uh, to the left and to the left. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's take this and add that to that. And then let's take this one and add that to that. That should increase our production by uh, roughly 50%. And we should see a better a better green side. All right, we're going to end the episode right there. Uh, Trying to keep it to a roughly a 20-minute episode. Not too long and not too short. Uh, just enough for you guys. Uh, we, You know, it might not seem like we did very much, but we did get the labs done and that's really good because that allows us to research such things as uh, lab research speed for instance which requires blues uh, so we can actually utilize the the blues and the grays that we've created you guys want to see flamethrowers that'd be kind of cool maybe that's the next thing we research uh, but if you guys like the video please hit the like button put your comments and your suggestions down in the comments section below and i'll see you guys in episode 23 of factorio